when you were booking your holiday and you're like, look at the floor, that's a bit of me. <laughs> <laughs> like the floor! Yeah. No, do you have the pasta sandwich? <laughs> yeah. what? No, 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 explain. Oh, yeah. I didn't go on the bus home, you did though. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Yes, guys, I'm Josh Denzel, and you already know the score by now. I'm back for another episode of On The Road with Trivago, and today I'm going to be joined by not one, but two Chelsea first-teamers. What's that then, guys? Are you good? <laughs> you going to show me around? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Gross, Sam. Incredible to have you. Thanks for having me on the bus. These are the kind of stories we want. We're on the first-team bus. We want to know all your best holiday stories, all your best travel stories. First question. How would you describe Sam as a travel partner? She's fun. Crazy, okay. but fun. Crazy, but fun? Yeah. Would you agree? Yep, I would agree with that. <laughs> Look at the wry <laughs> smiles. I know there's something behind here. There's some stories that, were, that need to be told. Are yeah, you the noisy ones then? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, okay. Yeah. I'm glad we're getting to the bottom of this quite quickly. Uh, Everyone's going to say that Sam's the crazy one. We have a group here that likes to sleep. Yeah. Okay, who's in that group? Anne, Jess, Beth, Sophie. Just snoozes. Straight yeah. quiet. Yeah. Then the, fr the front is like the Swedes. They play board games. Board games. Oh, okay. <laughs> who's the entertainer? I'm guessing that is, it's going to be... Yeah. <laughs> you are S. Yeah, Aaron. Yeah. Okay. Erin thinks she's like Adele. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Are we, get, are, we get, are, we, are we getting like, like karaoke no. vibes? No, like she's being dead serious. There is one song <laughs> she thinks she's Adele and you can see it on her, her face. Going back to, to the, the corner. corner. <laughs> I'm like, and she thinks she's good. Yeah, she's being dead serious. Yeah. Like, and we laugh. Has anyone ever told her like, you know, it's not. Oh, she doesn't mm. care. No, she thinks she's good. Yeah. It's like when you go on X Factor and like, the mums told them that you know you're, that you are really amazing, and the judges go, "Nah, that's Aaron. It's, it's not me." Okay. <laughs> that's Aaron. Yeah. Who's the DJ on the bus? Millie. Yeah. And what's on the playlist right now? It depends on the mood. Yeah. Like sometimes we have like acoustic if we're just like traveling on the bus, and it's late. Yeah. Like background kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then other times it's yeah sing alongs. I stay away from the music. Because we, we scandalous, we have a bad reputation when it comes to that. Because they think we love Mamma Mia. <laughs> like, that's the only song we listen to. It's just pure so Abba. when they ask us, oh no, they're going to say Mamma Mia, and then they just ask someone else, and we're like, I, I don't listen to that song. <laughs> Liar. But yes. You were singing Last Last, like Burner Boy, on the way down the stairs. I, I did hear that. Is that on, is that on the playlist? Yeah, yeah, that's on the playlist. Okay. I think it's a bit of a mix, but whenever LJ requests songs, not many people like it because it's rap music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one likes rap music. I, I like does. rap music. Kadisha likes rap music, but Magda hates rap music, <laughs> as she said. <laughs> but yeah, we get it. It's very mellow, calm, Adele or ABBA. Yeah. It's a good mix. It's a good mix. Who's the most likely to miss the bus? Or like leave like a really important item, like the passport? Jesse Fleming! <laughs> <laughs> She's you couldn't <laughs> wait to say that. No, <laughs> she's actually she's gonna be fuming. Yeah, she'll be fuming because she because she got she has control over everything, and then she's the only person that actually forgot a passport. Oh, is she like the admin of the group? Yeah. Like guys, don't oh, you dare forget this, mm -hmm. and then she turns up with that. Mm -hmm. Like she literally forgot the passport to we a big were, European game. Yeah, we were going overseas and she forgot her passport. The look on her face. I hope you reminded her of all the... We do. Oh, every she every won't away forget. trip now, we text her. <laughs> Everyone got their passport, Jessie? <laughs> yeah. I text her sometimes in the morning, you got your passport? She hates us. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to find out how well you know each other because we're going to ask you a series of questions, find a little bit about your holiday habits, okay. what you like to do, what you don't like to do. But the twist is, you're going to answer for each other. Who's more likely to play it safe with food or try something completely brand new? I play it safe. You yeah, yeah. yeah. I She's play it safe. Play, I, I eat anything, so. Yeah. So when you go away, it's a lot easier for you, I guess, because you, if you just you just eat anything, you're like, mm -hmm. right, I'm happy. But when you go away, like, do you struggle? Not struggle, but I'm very particular, especially when we're playing, like, I'm very pasta, particular. No, do you have the pasta sandwich? <laughs> oh, yeah. what? No, 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 explain. Oh, no, yeah. You have a pasta sandwich. She How does that even in, work? Like, is there pasta? And we, of course, they know now, so we always have pasta bonus. Yeah. And it's like a big sandwich, putting a pasta on salt, and then cheats. That's her dinner. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. And she has Worked to have once it. Before. A week. 
every game. To be fair, you did perform in big games. So I, I thought it was normal, a pasta sandwich in Oz. That's what we do. Mm -mm. I've never no, seen I mean, anyone I'm eat a... Always pack too much or travels too light? Too light. You, is that right? Just like a one backpack? She Nothing. rocks up with a rucksack and we're like going to be away for four days. I'm like, yeah, I got everything. <laughs> Packs too much. Way too much. Brings a big suitcase for a two day trip. Yeah. Yep. All right. Answer this for each other. Scuba diving or swimming pool? Swimming pool. Me? Yeah. yeah. I'm scared of the ocean. I would say scuba dive. Half yeah. your Instagram is you on the beach. How can you be I scared, know, of, how can you be scared never, of the ocean? Where I'm from in Perth, there's lots of sharks. So I like the ocean, but like just Yeah, because she keeps telling me, you have to come. And I'm like, yeah, when I go oh, the sea and everything, she's like, no, sharks. <laughs> I live on the beach, but I don't go in. I don't go in. I, don't, yeah, I, do I just like in, looking at it. No. Yeah. Favorite holiday destination. Where everyone goes on like uh, honeymoon. The Maldives. Yeah. I've yeah. never been there, but that's you my, see it on yeah. Instagram, and you're like, that's my number one. Oh, TikTok tells me it's the greatest. That's my number one. Where I want to go. It. Yeah. Number for you, um, not far because Europeans hate yeah. to travel. <laughs> <laughs> so Spain, maybe. Yeah, Spain, Italy. Italy. Yeah. Italy. Okay. I invited say it, her to come to Barcelona this year with me and Erin, and she bailed. So I was like, she can't. Girl, what's going on? I hadn't been home. Oh, Crimea River. <laughs> wow, just, just completely exiting off girls' trips. You're like, yeah, we're going to have fun in Barcelona. I'm coming, oh, I'm coming. coming like, a family like, is important. Oh, a family is important. Yeah, we'll take is. that. Give us some gossip, because I know I know you have some I good travel out. stories. I don't know. Like you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't know. It was the three of us going, me, Guru and Aaron, and Guru flaked it. I flew all the way from New York for three days. That's a long time. She didn't come. We, I went for three days to Barcelona. We did Formula One, my first ever experience. It was amazing. I called you when I got home from the nightclub at 6.30. <laughs> I was like, I have to tell her what happened during the night and I've got a flight in 30 minutes, so I'm packing my bags. Like, oh, you went from the club to the airport? Yeah. And when you landed, what did you do when you got to America? I forget. Probably went out. <laughs> yeah, you went out. <laughs> she missed out on a very good trip. It was like an end of season. Blow up. Yeah. Do you think Sam would rather go? to a local landmark or go on safari? She would go safari because landmark is not her thing. History. <laughs> e -e. She don't care. So you're, <laughs> she, you're not trying to go to Buckingham Palace, nah, not trying to go nah. to the Tower of London if you're here. Everyone's like, have you been to Buckingham Palace? Have you seen Big Ben? I'm like, no. I can see those things on the painting at a dentist's place or something else. <laughs> OK, so you, you see it on a postcard yeah. and that's it. You're that's done. It, not for me. Mm -hmm. OK. She goes What's safari too. Mm. But you go on safari as well? Yeah. She would do that. I have you, seen Big Ben. Yeah. <laughs> at least, at yeah. least. I want to talk to you both about that big final. What was the atmosphere like on the way there, on the coach versus on the way back? Talk me through it. Well, we stayed the night over, so going up, I think it was probably a bit tense, right? Yeah. Everyone's in like, competition mode. And then atmosphere on the way back after we next time. Must have been just party atmosphere on the bus, right? I didn't go on the bus home. You did, though. Oh, shut up! <laughs> OK, no, hey, shut up, talk to me. No, that was you have You have to I'm tell like, me about the bus ride home. OK, oh you weren't on the bus home. Oh, my God. No, Where we, was the bus coming back from? we celebrated after the final with all our families and friends and fans. And obviously, that was the last game of the season. And we had flights back home the next day. OK. And the bus to Cobham left early. 11, 12-ish, and she went I, home to yeah, bed. I went home, but I had the flight six, but so I, did I, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, her and Erin. Oh my God, don't. Bailed Whoa. on the night Why? of the final. How? The flight home, surely, you can get on that flight a little bit hungover. Yeah, but I was also, I was time for me to go home. Ah, uh, it was, it was it quite an enjoyable few hours of celebrations yeah. after the final. They were like FaceTiming on their way to the city and we're like, mm, never do that again, so. <laughs> okay, this is a section of the show where we call behind the feeds. Okay, you have to explain some of these Instagrams. Okay, explain what's going on here. Talk us through the picture. It's very chilled. That is Sam's holiday. She's booked it herself. Let me yeah, tell you. Yeah, where is this? <laughs> um, in Ibiza. Me and Christy went. Um, she had just won her CONCACAF, and I was at the end of my pre season and we hadn't seen each other. So we thought, 
Why no. not go to Aviv? Yeah, we're going. It was my first time. That's a bit of me. Yeah, that's a bit of you. Okay, good. <laughs> Flip to the next one. Oh this, God. This is wild. Yeah. Could you show us what's going on here? Because this. This looks very dangerous. I don't think you should tell the gaffer that you're going on holidays places this like this. This is because... home. No, but... no, I mean, we have a lot of mountains and to walk up to the top, it's not dangerous at all. But when you I get mean, up it, there, it... you get the view. And but who's and taking this, one, this photo? Yeah, yeah my, my mom, I think. And down here, it's probably three, four hundred meters just straight down. And how that's are you not why, nervous at this point? That's why I'm sitting there and my brother's sitting there because he live on the edge. Like, he's looking over yeah, and I I'm terrified. Like that's enough I'm like on crawling because yeah, it's that's scary. Not me. But it's not scary to sit there. Come on. But every time I you post photos... You cannot convince photos, me that with a 400 but, meter drop on the edge of a mountain is not scary. Yeah, my social you. media, when I post photos like this, it goes off. Like, fans are like... Don't. They're, they're don't. like, be careful, yeah. please. Like, we, need, we, like, we need you at the no, weekend, okay? Yeah. We okay. need the left <laughs> leg, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the, <laughs> leave the left boot up there. <laughs> Sam, first of all, give us your three hotel hit list points. What do they have to have? The first is a good view, always. Good, like, pool bar. That's okay. really important. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, it's got to be a good pool area. And then the bed. Like, I'm not sleeping in a single bed. I know Europe likes yeah. the single beds, but nice, fluffy bed. When you were booking your holiday, you were going to show me the hotel room, and you're like, look at the floor. That's a bit of me. <laughs> <laughs> like, the floor? Yeah, yeah, well, I don't like to get out of my bed and have my feet on, like, nasty tiles or wood. You like, just need carpet. Yeah, I need, like, a nice carpet. Like, it needs to be fluffy. A very particular travel. Yeah, yeah. Very particular uh, Hotels are my thing. Like, I've got to stay where I want to stay. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of me, yeah. Book it. <laughs> there we go. I like it. <laughs> that's a bit of me, I do say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, when you sit in, the, sit in the seat that reclines all the way back, you're like, that's a bit of me, I respect it. Yeah. Girls, thank you so much for sharing your travel stories with me. We're going to plan the trip to Ibiza. Yeah. Let's get on the road.